guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another dump and go crock pot video for you. So in this one, I am sharing five different quick and easy dinner ideas that you can just dump them in your crock pot, let them cook, and when it comes time for dinner, you will have a really delicious and easy meal. I am a huge fan of crock pot meals because I can just throw them in the crock pot at nap time when my toddlers are sleeping. And then when it comes time for dinner, I don't have to worry about prepping anything. All I have to do is plate it up, give it to my kids, and we have a really quick and easy dinner. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, I just want to say welcome. My name is Caitlin. I do lots of cooking content on this channel with a little bit of motherhood, some organization in there. And I do have a crock pot series going on right now. So there will be a new one of these videos every couple of weeks. So definitely make sure you're subscribed if you don't want to miss out on those. But let's go ahead and get into all of these dump and go recipes. For this first recipe, I'm just making some honey garlic chicken. This was definitely one of my favorites. So I'm using my smaller crock pot for this one and just spraying it with a little bit of oil. And then I'm adding in about six little tenderloins that I had in the freezer. And now I'm mixing up the sauce. So this is going to be a third cup of soy sauce. You're gonna want about a sixth a cup of honey, one tablespoon of ketchup, a quarter cup of water, about one teaspoon of ginger. I just used the stuff in the bottle. And then you're gonna want a good scoop of minced garlic. I would say about a tablespoon, a little sprinkle of the crushed red pepper flakes. And then for salt and pepper, you're gonna want about three quarters of a teaspoon of salt and about a quarter teaspoon of pepper. And you're just gonna mix all of this together. This sauce honestly had so much flavor. It wasn't too strong and overpowering, but it was really good. So right over to my crock pot, I'm adding in about a quarter of a yellow onion that I just minced up. And then I'm taking that sauce and dumping it right on top and just giving it a really quick mix together. And then you're gonna cook this on high for about four hours or just until that chicken is all the way cooked through. This had so much flavor. We absolutely love this one. You can either serve these chicken pieces whole or you can cut them up like I did. I just cut them up into little chunks. I served this over some brown rice that I cooked in my Instant Pot. And this was honestly such a really good quick and easy dinner. For this next dinner, I'm making a creamy tortellini soup. I actually saw this recipe over on the Simplified Savers channel and I thought it looked so good, so I absolutely had to try this one out. I love tortellini and especially when I can just throw it into the slow cooker. So I'm just starting off by cutting up everything for this recipe. So here I have one large onion that I did cut up into some pretty small pieces. And then the recipe called for about two cups of frozen spinach. I just had this in my freezer so I just went ahead and chopped it up right here and then I'm also cutting up my cream cheese so this is just one block of cream cheese you do want to make sure that it is nice and softened for this recipe and that will help it melt into this soup better now we're ready to actually dump everything into my slow cooker. So I'm just spraying it with a little bit of oil so nothing sticks. And then I'm adding in my tortellini first. So this is about 19 ounces of frozen tortellini. This is a little bit cheaper to buy the frozen kind. And then I'm adding in my onion. I think next time I will soften it a little bit in the microwave first. I'm also adding in one can of mushrooms along with all of that frozen spinach right into the crock pot. And then I'm also adding in one can of diced tomatoes along with one jar of pasta sauce. Now I did add a little bit of water just to get the rest of it from the jar and dumping that in there as well. I'm adding in a really good amount of mixed garlic, probably about one and a half tablespoons. And then you're also going to want a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. And then for the broth here, I added in four cups of chicken broth. You could also use vegetable broth if you want. I'm giving this a quick mix together. And then I felt like it just needed a second can of mushrooms, so I'm adding that in now along with the cream cheese. This is just all cubed up and it's also softened. You're just gonna mix all of this together 
together and then I just cooked mine on low for about three hours and it turned out really good we absolutely love this dish it had tons of flavor my kids really like this one and I definitely would recommend this recipe I topped it with a little bit of mozzarella cheese when I served it and this was definitely a really good dinner For this next dinner, I'm just making a pork roast meal in the crock pot. This was a complete meal. It had potatoes, carrots, and the meat, so I didn't have to make any sides to go with this one, which is great. So I'm just starting off over here with all of my potatoes. I chose to do about five russet potatoes for this one, but you can use whatever your favorite kind of potato is. And if you want to peel it, you can, but I don't mind the peels on ours. So I'm just cutting these up into cubes, and then I'm gonna add them into my crock pot. I added those potatoes right into my crock pot along with about half a bag of baby carrots and then I'm going to mix up some seasoning for these. So this is about 3 tablespoons of melted butter with about half a packet of ranch seasoning and I'm just mixing this together and then drizzling it over the top of the potatoes and the carrots. This added so much flavor and they were absolutely delicious. I just gave them a really quick mix together and then I'm going to be adding the meat on top. For some extra flavor, I'm adding in about half of a yellow onion that I just chopped up. And then the meat that I'm adding is actually a pork sirloin roast. This was a different kind of roast that I had never used before, but we actually really enjoyed it. And then right on top of this roast, I'm adding in about half a packet of ranch seasoning mix, as well as about a half a packet of a jus gravy mix. And I'm just adding this to both sides of the roast. Now I just have about two tablespoons of melted butter that I just drizzled on top of this roast and then I did actually add in one cup of chicken broth while this was cooking. I didn't add it to begin with but I definitely needed it so I added it a little bit later on. But I just cooked this on low for about eight hours and this turned out absolutely delicious. It was a great weeknight dinner. So for this next dinner, I'm just making a really quick and easy chicken noodle soup in the crock pot. I'm starting off by sauteing my onions and my celery. You can totally skip this step if you don't want to, or you can actually just soften them in the microwave. Either way will work just fine. I just always like to do it this way. And then I do like to add a little bit of salt and pepper to my onions and my celery. I saute these for probably like five minutes or so just until they're soft. Now heading over to my crock pot, of course I'm just gonna spray it with the oil like I always do. And then I'm adding my chicken in right away. So I just used one chicken breast here, but you can definitely use two if you want a little bit more meat. I'm adding in my carrots along with my onions and my celery. I will have all of the measurements linked down below in the description box. I'm adding in one full carton of chicken broth. This is about four cups of chicken broth that I'm adding right here. Give that a quick stir together and then you can add in all of your favorite seasonings. I like to keep mine very basic and simple. I just do a little bit of garlic powder, some Italian seasoning as well as salt and pepper of course. I keep it pretty mild because I can always add a little bit more later on. And then I'm going to cook this on high for about 4 hours in my crock pot. Once the chicken has fully cooked, I'm just pulling it out and throwing it onto my cutting board. On this day, I decided to cut it up into some small pieces, but you can also shred it if you want. A lot of times I do decide to shred the chicken, but I just felt like having cube chicken on this night, so I'm just cutting that up quick, and then I'm gonna be adding it right back into my crock pot along with my pasta. So for the pasta, you can use whatever kind you want. On this day, I decided to add in some rotini pasta. I just feel like it holds its shape really well and its texture. Sometimes noodles can get a little bit too soft in the crock pot, 
But I just put these rotini noodles in. I think they took right around like 13 minutes or so until they were al dente. You just want to make sure that you don't overcook them. This chicken noodle soup was really good and we enjoyed it on a cold fall day. For this next recipe, I'm making some chicken queso tacos. These were hands down my favorite. They were so delicious. I'm just starting off by adding one large chicken breast into my crock pot. This was a very large chicken breast. You could also do two smaller ones. And then I'm also adding in about half a packet of taco seasoning mix, along with one can of Rotel tomatoes. And then to make these tacos really delicious, you're gonna want about a cup of this salsa con queso. That's definitely the secret ingredient here and it made all the difference in this taco recipe. I'm just adding that in there and get, then giving it a really quick mix together. I cooked these on high for about four hours. Once the chicken was fully cooked through, I just took two forks and shredded it up. If you want your chicken to be a little bit more finely shredded, go ahead and use a hand mixer and that will get your chicken really nice and fine. Once I had it all shredded up, I just added it back into the crock pot with all of that cheesy goodness, mixed it all together, and then we're ready to serve up the tacos. So of course I added in some extra sour cream to make it really nice and creamy. And then I'm adding on that taco meat with all of the queso in there. This had so much flavor. Of course you're going to need some cheese on your tacos with some lettuce some tomatoes, some salsa if you want. This was such a fabulous dinner. I'm just rolling that up, serving it to my family. We absolutely love this dinner. If you try any of these recipes, definitely give this one a shot. All right guys, that is going to wrap up today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you have not already. I would love to have you over on my channel for more crock pot videos, what's for dinner videos, and other food related content. But that is going to be it for today's video. I will catch you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. As a young girl, the fields were mine. We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, playful and free, without a care.